All right, let's, um, let's see if we can do a little bit of a challenge and we're gonna work with two-step equations here. So a two-step equation simply means there's more than one operation. So you've got um, addition or subtraction and multiplication or division. All right, so in order to solve this, you have to do kind of an order, just like order of operation. So you're gonna work with your addition and subtraction first. You're gonna undo that. Then the last thing you do is multiplication and division. All right, so always do addition and subtraction first. All right, so let's do a couple of problems. So I have 6x plus 8 equals 50. All right, so go to your variable side. So obviously I want to get x by itself. So I've got to do something with these two terms. So I'm going to work with the addition first. So how am I going to get rid of this plus 8? So the opposite of adding 8 or the inverse would be to subtract 8 from both sides. All right, so I'm going to show my work. Okay, so um, 8 minus 8, these cancel out which is what I wanted it to do, I'm left with 6x on this side equals 42. All right, so in this case, you can kind of say, so 6 times what gives me 42? Um, if you don't know that off the top of your head, then you can, the opposite of multiplying by 6 is to divide both sides by 6. So I'm left with x, because these cancel out, so x would have to equal 7, because 6 times 7 equals 42. All right, so you can always go back and plug it in and make sure it works. So six times seven is 42 plus eight. Yep, that equals 50, so I'm good. All right, let's try this one. Two X minus five equals 11. So I'm gonna work with my subtraction here first. So the opposite of subtracting five would be to add five to both sides. Once I do that, these cancel out which is what I wanted. So I'm left with 2x has to equal 16. So you can ask yourself, two times what gives me 16? So that would have to be x has to equal eight. Okay, make sure you're always telling me the variable x equals. Don't just put eight. You have to actually write the variable equals. All right, all right, let's try two more. All right, so these are division problems here. All right, so I've got k divided by three plus two gives me seven. So again, work with the addition subtraction first. So I wanna get rid of the two here. So the opposite of adding would be to subtract two from both sides. Okay, so these cancel out. So I'm left with K divided by three has to equal five. All right, so on this case, you gotta kinda keep working with it. So the opposite now of dividing by three, the opposite of dividing by three would be to multiply both sides by three. So if I multiply this side by three, oops, three. If I multiply this side by three, these cancel out, which is what I wanted. So I'm left with my K has to be 15. All right, let's plug it in and make sure it's right. So 15 divided by three, would give me five plus two, yep, that equals seven. Let's try one more here. All right, so remember, if it looks like this, that's a division problem. It's just the same as this one. If, that, if it helps you better and you wanna actually write it out like that, that's fine too, okay? But just remember, recognize if it looks like a fraction there, remember this sign here means to divide. All right, so we've got division and subtraction. So I'm gonna work with the subtraction first. So the opposite of subtracting six is to add six to both sides. So these cancel out. I'm left with D divided by four has to equal seven. Okay, so the opposite of dividing by four is to multiply both sides by four. Multiply both sides by four. So these cancel out. So I'm left with my D has to equal 28. Seven times four is 28. So let's go and plug it in. 28 divided by four would give me seven minus six. Yep, it equals one and I'm done. All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple problems. I want you to try them out. Feel free to go, come back and watch this video more than once.